Hello and welcome to how to use maps. Maps are a useful tool in Actors to help organize your information clearly. Say you've got information like an inventory and you've got apples, bread, iron ingots, wheat and leather and you've got amount of each item you have on your person. Well, this information is best described as a map. So to use a map and create one, we're going to go to the variable list, add new variable and we call this one inventory. And on the right hand side, I'm going to make the variable type whatever variable I want my uh, left hand column to be. In this case, the left hand column here is apples, bread, iron gots, wheat, and leather. We call this column the keys. But this is the keys. Uh, so we're going to leave it a string. And then you click on the little pill icon here and change it from a singular variable down to the bottom where it has a map or in brackets a dictionary. And then it gives you the next drop down, which is the values. That's the right hand side column here. These are the values. So you've got keys and you've got values. Now keys have to be unique. You can't have duplicates. So for example, I can't have two things saying apples. You can only have one. So here I've got string and I've got integer to replicate my inventory that you saw in the spreadsheet. I'm gonna hit compile and then save. So now in the default value, you can see I've got inventory, I have zero map elements. I can click on the plus icon and I can start typing in these various elements. So apple, and I've got one apple. And I go into here and I've got bread. And I've got five bread and so forth. If you try to add one that already exists, so if I try adding apple again, it won't let me because duplicate keys are not allowed. So using the keys here, you can add uh, a various inventory of information here. Now, how do we actually use these in engine? So you're going to drag out your inventory array or map array, sorry. And from there, you have access to a variety of features. So you've got add, clear, contains, find, keys, length, remove and values. So let's go over the main ones here. So add is how you add values to your map. Now, it'll ask you for a key and the value on the add. Now, one thing that people often get wrong about this node is that it's not actually adding values together. What it's actually doing is replacing them. So if it doesn't, that key doesn't exist yet, it'll add it to the end of the uh, map. If it does exist, it'll replace it with whatever value you put in here. So how do you add, actually add values to it? So let's say you've got apples, you've got five apples, and you want to add another one apple to it. Well, you get the inventory uh, map, and you have to first of all find how many you currently have. So find and you put in the name of, of the key, so apple, and this will go into apple. And for the value, then you take the find value, which is this bit here, and you're going to do add one to it. So now that's made it one larger in the map. You can also check to see if a map exists uh, and has uh, and contains a value. So if I drag out my inventory map and from there do contains, I can type in any number of uh, keys I want in here. So for example, if I do apples, apple, this will return true or false to say whether or not I've got it. Again, quite useful when you're doing things like inventory, keys, things of that nature. Other options you may have is the keys and the values. So let's say you've got a list of items you want to show and you want to display those in a list of some kind. You take the keys out and that will return all the keys in an array. You can then use a for each loop to go through each one, add in a string to a list in a scroll box to show the, uh, on the, to the player the inventory they have equipped, for example. And similarly, you can do the same with values. But once you've got the for each loop and you've got the key out of it, you can then use that find node again to find each value individually. So find and you get the key from there. So maps are really useful things and you don't have, just have to use strings or integers. You can use pretty much almost any type. There are some things you can't do, um, but, but by and large, you're pretty open. Uh, so you can include classes and actors references as well. Uh, you can include structs. So maybe you want to contain multiple items. So let's say, for example, you've got uh, rather than just one value column here, you have multiple. Well, you store that into a struct instead of just a singular variable. So there are loads of things you can do with them and you just have to be creative with uh, how they can be used.
If you like this video, make sure you hit subscribe and uh, follow me on the channel. If you want to see more videos by me, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Ailey where you can catch all my videos early before anyone else from just $1 a month. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.